Hello friends, welcome to BC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about entomologist crop pest pest classification, and I am going to cover the topic cotton, and uh, it is the first insect pest of cotton part one. And so the part one consists of boll worms and stem feeders, as well as sacking first and defoliators. So let's move to the video and see about the pest of cotton in the part one video. So while seeing about a small introduction about cotton, around 135 insect attack in cotton boll worm. K, um, cases causes uh, use an extensive damage in the cotton is said to be noted and so the notification of one in 135 insects the boll worms are the most infectious ones uh, so that because of these boll worms more than 70 percent of insecticide is applied in the management of cotton and an average yield loss of 35 is mainly caused due to boll worms so i have given the list of boll worms present in cotton so they are american boll worms spotted boll worms spiny boll worm and pinky boll worm so the boll worm's common name as well as the scientific name and family and order is given in this title. So that now first we are going to see about American boll worm. Boll worm. So while seeing about the American boll worms, uh, so the symptom of damage is where the boll used to show regular and circular bore holes and there is also a larva head which used to interest inside the fruit and the rest of the body is said to be outside and there is also a presence of uh, glanar fecal particles outside the bore hole and there is a single larva damage which can able to damage up to 30 to 40 bolts in an area and so uh, while seeing about the identification x which is said to be a terminal area of, uh, present in the terminal area of the cotton as well as in the upper surface of the leaves and so which use it to blooms and uh, pro uh, causes damage in the bowl worm within two to four, uh, five days and the destructive stage is larva where the use it to grow up to 35 mm and uh, while seeing about their identification types so they are said to be greenish and brown with the dark grey yellow stripes on the body which is particularly on the yellow stripes on the sides of the body and which is said to be you know, grow around 14 to 80 days based on the climatic period and so it is the pictures of American boll worm and while seeing about the pupa which is said to be a brown uptake pupa and the adult which is said to be a stout yellowish brown color moth with a dark specks area on the four wings hind wings and uh, there is also a whitish black patch on the outer margin now uh, once it used to be older than 80 days and the total life cycle of this american boll worm is 35 to 50 days so i have given the picture of the american boll worm in this picture and the next one is spotted and spiny boll worm so which used to be as like of a similar and so the scientific name is Aries vitella as well as Aries insulina so while seeing about their uh, regions and so the area of more rainfall like Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu areas vitella is said to be occur mo most commonly and in um, areas insula which is said to be mainly found in low rainfall areas and so the alternate host of these various species are Bendi, Safflor Abutlan and Malvasi species. So it, now we are seeing about the spotted boll worm. So the symptom of damage is uh, the drooping of terminal shoots uh, only after the before the flea flowering stage and the flowering flowering of the brackets also used to form a square and young boll formation stage is said to be uh, damaged and there is a setting of squares and young bolts which used to reduce the yield in the cotton. Flower and holes on bowls and rotting of bowls is said to be mainly occurred in the spotted bowl worms. And so while seeing about the identification, so egg which is said to be sculptured egg and larva which is said to be brownish with the white streak dorsally and a pale yellow ventral side and the larva is said to be in destructive stage and pupa which is used to form a boat shaped cocoon with the dry brown dirty brown silk and it is said to be an uptake pupa and the pupation period is 8 to 10 days and so the adult which is said to be a creamy forming one with wedge shaped band so which is said to be green as well as milky white in color and the band is uh, said to be in green color and the uh, outer wing is said to be a milky white color so you can able to see that clearly in the picture and so the next one we are going to see is spiny bulbum which is areas insulina and so it used to see about the identification the egg which is said to be sculptured or shiny bluish one and which used to tender uh, singly found in the tender shoots and the single female can able to lay around 200 to 400 eggs in its life period and the larva which is said to be creamy with a black margin and there is also a, a orange spots on the prothorax and has finger shaped processes present in this larva and the pupa which is said to be a boat shaped cocoon with a dirty brown silk uptake pupa which is said to be around 8 to 10 days 
and the adult which is said to be a four wing where the it is said to be grassy green in color and the hind wings are said to be yellowish white and so it is the pictures of spotted bullworm and spiny bullworm and the next one we are going to see is pink bullworm which is said to be a most important pest uh, we must need to remember in cotton because it is a only pest of cotton and it used to form a rosetty flower symptom in the cotton and so the once we can able to see the entry of plugged excreta of larva which is said to be found inside the kernel seedings is said to be also importantly known and the attacked birds and immature bolts uh, which is said to be easily dry off and discolored lint and burrowed seeds are also said to be found inside the bolts of the cotton and so the nature of damage so they used to develop inside the flower bowl as well as the seed and uh, they used to form a rosetty disease which used to uh, commonly there is a infestation of silk and threads petals together in a silk and uh, threads and they also used to grow producing a uh, white color spongy blooms and the developing larva which used to tunnel through the globules and uh, until they reach the entire length which is the entire in local brown is said to be found in the cotton and so uh, while seeing about pw it is said to be indi indigenous to india and the first record is said to be found in early 19th of maharashtra so they are said to be even now found in uttar pradesh punjab haryana andhra pradesh gujarat bihar and uh, southern parts of india in uh, tamil nadu the all cotton growing areas are mainly affected by pink bollworms and then alternative host is hibiscus uh, species uh, thespisia populinia and so in north india larva hibernates after november but in south india pupal hibernation among five birds and kappas is said to be known and while seeing about the biology so egg is said to be greenish white and singly laid on this stem around 300 eggs are laid by single female and the larva is in district you one where the white and the turn white color larva is used to turn pink after its maturation and there is also a dot transfer headband and with uh, around they have a larval period of 21 days and uh, pupa which is said to be taken inside seed or soil with a light silk and cocoon which used to have a life uh, pupal period of 10 days and the adult which is said to be a grayish brown moth so we can able to see it in the picture and which used to have a broad band um, blackish tip near the tip of the adult one and so they use it to cause a double seeding symptom which is said to be found when the cotton is said to be ginned and so uh, the most common management of bollworms i have listed it out in the cotton so growing cotton once in a year in proper season is said to be the best management and uh, clearing of crop produce residues and the collection destruction of damaged plant pots or grown up larva is an effective one and uh, so with the 10 to 15 days time interval in a villages uh, is it to be um, stopped because um, they used to create a uh, travel from one place to another so which used to reduce the loss in all the villages and one or two variety of same duration can be sown in the village so which can be resistant to those diseases and a glabrous leaf varieties like kanchana lk861 and a uh, abda dipa and supriya uh, so these varieties can be used so it is not because they can they are resistant to these uh, bollworms but they can able to tolerate the presence of bollworms in it and so avoid bono cropping and inter cropping with onion black gram green gram cowpea soybean maize and cluster beans are recommended and optimum nitrogen fertilizers usage is recommended and the field scouting is need to be done at randomly uh, for 25 to 30 plants in 3 to 5 days interval and setting up of light traps and pheromone traps at 12 per hectare like heliolure ernu um, heliolure pectinolures for based on the species the pheromone traps is to be placed in the field and so the some other practices we can able to go for biological pest controls like trichogramma kyloness and uh, which is an uh, egg parasite which is to be released at 15 days interval after 45 days after sowing so it is to be re recommended at 62500 eggs can be placed at per hectare and some other larva larval parasite like kilonus blackburni and chrysophila carnia uh, which is to be to release at 1 lakh grubs per hectare on 
6th, 13th and 14th week after sowing or else we can able to spray NPV at 450 liter per hectare and 2 to 3 sprays can able to reduce the, the best incidence of helicova, helicoverpa or else we can able to go for natural seed sprayings like 10% uh, of seed and uh, cotton seed kernel extract and 10% crude sugar and 0.1% of eco tinopol or tpol can be sprayed with the uh, with the npv so which is an effective for controlling the bollworms and so the first uh, final one of chemical control can be used so the discourage uh, use of insecticide like synthetic parasites must need to be avoided so the insecticides which are safer to natural enemies such as Pasolon at the correct dosage and alternating different group of insecticides can be used in the field level and avoid using of combination of insecticides as tank mix is to be mainly avoided and proper mixing and preparation of spray fluids for each filling of spray fluid liquid is to be properly ensured and so the chemicals which we can able to use in bollworms uh, killings are so the chloropyrpos, pospolene, coinal pos, carboride, uh, pyrochlophos are the chemicals we can able to be used for the control of bollworms in the field level and so the next uh, we I have also given some of the bollworm pesticide complex uh, so you can able to read it down for your studies and so next we can able to move for borers where the borers uh, used to combine of stem weevil shoot weevil and the stem borers so i have also given the scientific name family and order so the first one we are going to see about the stem weevil where the scientific name is pemperulus affinis and the um, major distribution is said to be found in andhra pradesh kerala karnataka orissa bihar rajasthan uttar pradesh assam and tamil nadu so you can able to see the stem weevil distribution mainly in the southern part of india and the alternative host for the stem weevil are so are some other malvaceous plants and LRA 5166 which is said to be susceptible for many girls and so the symptom of damage where they can able to see the swelling of stems on the ground level and younger plants are said to be invariably killed and older plants survive but uh, they use it to lack of vigor and strength when the strong wind used to blow the whole plant used to be bulge and broken down at the nodes so it is a major symptom of damage found in the cotton due to the stem weevil and so the identification of pest is larva which is to be grow white in color and the adult which is to be very small weevil which is dark in color with two small white patches on the elytra so the management is the economic threshold level of 10 percent infestation is permittable if uh, the economic threshold level is higher we can able to go for the basal application of FIM at 25 tonnes per hectare or the neem cake at 250 kg per hectare and chemical applications like carbofuron 3g 30 kg per hectare on 20 days or uh, as a soil application is a better one and earthing up on 45 days after the planting is also an effective one and the next one is bud bomb uh, so while seeing about the identification of bud bomb larva which is said to be pale greenish color and the pupa which used to be found in the leaf fold and the adult which is a dark green moth and so the major destructive stage is larva which used to fold on leaves around the top shoots and buds so they attack on one or two months of crops and causes deforestation on the top shoot so the next one is shoot weevil where the uh, scientific name is Alchidodus afaber uh, and the family is curculiorindi and the order is lepidoptera so they used to have a greyish brown uh, weevil with the pale cross bands on the four wings and the grub and the adult both used to cause damage to the plant and they used to attack the shoot and leaf stalks so the next one is surface weevil where the scientific names Atetogaster finitimus and the family is curculiorindi and the order is coleoptera so they used to, adult which used to cut stems on seedling at the time of germination and the adult which is to be black and greyish in color and the next one is stem borers where the scientific name is Pehenoptera gossifi and the symptom of damage where the plants used to have drooping leaves and wilting in patches said to be occurred and so the identification of pest and the adult which used to be dark brown jewel beetle and so I have given the some of the economic threshold levels for bollworm stem weevil as well as the spodoptera insects so some other insect resistant management for helicoverpa and the TNA adopted uh, Sri uh, integrated pest management module for cotton 
so i have given the lecture notes in description so come over to the video and join us in the instagram page so you can able to see part two of the cotton in the next video so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch up in next videos